I'm just about to head to the gym to do 23.1. I didn't do it in 2014 because I didn't start CrossFit until 2016. So I don't know how this is gonna go. I think I'm gonna take the tip from Wad Prep on the toaster bar and I probably won't get any muscle ups. So I'm gonna go like full send on the cleans if I get there. I might not get there, I don't know. My main aim is just to have fun, give it a go and see what happens. Let's head to the gym. If you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you'll know that I suffer from panic attacks and anxiety. And on the way in, my heart started racing and my chest is getting really tight. And I'm just starting to experience a lot of the kind of symptoms of anxiety, which is not great. <laughs> and even though I'm not taking it seriously, this happens a lot. Like it happens in competitions when I'm just doing it for fun. No matter how seriously I'm taking it, I always experience anxiety when I'm doing something even remotely competitive. <laughs> Hopefully I don't have a panic attack during the workout. <laughs> and if I do start to get panicky i'm just gonna have to slow down and that is just the way it is or i keep going and risk having a panic attack we'll just see what happens <laughs> i'm gonna try and calm myself down over the next like 20 minutes and do some stretching and just try and slow my breathing and help myself feel better <laughs> gladiators ready So to begin with, I paced the row. I'm a pretty decent rower and I can hold a pretty solid pace, but I went for around the 1000 calories per hour mark just to make sure I didn't go too fast and blow up because I knew the toaster bar were gonna be difficult for me. When I got into the toaster bar, I ended up doing singles. And this is the tip that I took from Ward Prep. He basically said that if your max set is less than 15, then just do singles from the start because it can be much faster than taking huge amounts of rest. And my toaster bar, I really hit and miss at the moment and this worked really well. I wasn't really very tired from the toaster bar. It was more to do with like my core strength and also my technique so I went straight from the toaster bar straight into the wall balls and I broke it down into a set of 15 and then a set of 10 and then 8 and 7 and again I took this tip from Wad Prep too. I wasn't sure if this would have any impact but I wasn't really out of breath from the toaster bar so it was easy to do a set of 15 and then it was really nice to know that every time I did a set that I had a lot less reps to do and I didn't take huge amounts of rest in between the wall ball sets. I finished the wall balls around the 11.59 mark so it took me a huge chunk of time to do the toaster bar even though the wall balls were pretty fast I'd already wasted a lot of time with the toaster bar but quite honestly I didn't think I would get through all 50 I thought my workout would end before I got through the 50 toaster bar because that is a lot of toaster bar for me so coming off the wall balls at 11.59 I went straight into the cleans and did a big set of six which was a terrible idea <laughs> honestly I think I was going to do 10 and that that would have been a joke I had a lot more time left on the cleans than I had planned and I got very tired very quickly and I should have just started with singles and stuck with singles <laughs> but I was silly and I didn't do that. <laughs> it's interesting how you can like underestimate a clean weight when it's like that super light for me, that weight, what, 43 kilos or whatever it is. And I could easily do that in sets of 10, but after the rest of the work, it has such a different impact on you and it was hard. I knew there was no way I was gonna get to the muscle ups, so I tried to do as many of the cleans as I could and I ended up getting 22 cleans in total, which means I got 172 reps and I'm really happy with that. <laughs> Thankfully, my anxiety calmed down quite a lot. I got into the gym and there was a lot of sorting out heats and it took a very long time to actually get to the point where it was my turn to go. I was in like heat three, so I'd calmed down quite a lot by then. My adrenaline had spiked up and come back down and I was fine. I was at the point then when I knew there was like no risk of a panic attack during the workout. I was feeling quite relaxed and just quite excited to have a go. I was also still a little bit anxious, but like not so much. It could like possibly boil over into a panic attack. I'm honestly like so happy with the score. I couldn't believe that I even finished those toaster bar. The toaster bar were a lot for me and especially at the moment um, I'm a lot less fit than I used to be and gymnastics is something that I really struggle with especially since I gained a lot more weight and my legs are super heavy now. <laughs> it's just a hard movement for me and it will be for quite a long time and that's okay. I'm super proud of the effort I put in and yes I do think I could probably do it again and get a couple more reps maybe even finish the cleans if I didn't take as much rest after doing that big set of six but now I only do the open for fun and enjoyment and I'm not expecting to 
like qualify for quarterfinals or anything like that. I just do it for me. And I've gone from being like a very competitive person and crossfitter generally, someone that competes up to 13 times in one year, and kind of stepped away from competition as much and started to transition into doing it for fun and doing fitness more for like health and longevity. And I'm much more comfortable with the way my life is now. And I, this is the way I want it to be. Crossfit and fitness to add to my life rather than to give me a load of stress and make me feel like I'm not good enough and all of those feelings that I had when I was obsessed with getting better and also struggling with my eating disorder and all the other stuff that I've been through during my CrossFit journey. Right now I'm in a much better place and I personally would love to see more people in the CrossFit space talk about how they're just a regular person doing fitness for fun and enjoyment. Whether you're doing it scaled or foundations or you go RX and just try and get as far as you can, I just want to see more normal people doing it and hear about your experiences. I feel like when I watched a load of the strategy videos I just didn't relate to them because a lot of them were talking about like saving yourself for the muscle ups and I knew I wasn't going to get to the muscle ups but watching some of the tips and tricks from like the elite athletes did make me feel a little bit like inadequate and that there wasn't really anything out there for me. I think there were a lot of people that struggle with self-comparison, self-doubt, being really hard on themselves for that open score at the moment and I definitely used to be one of those people and I feel like if people like me start to show more real stories and what it's like for us everyday athletes to do the open then hopefully more people will feel less like that and realize that it's okay to recognize that you just do this for fitness and fun. You've got to remember that this one workout does not define you and it isn't a measure of your entire year of CrossFit. You've achieved so many other things that can't just be tested in three workouts. This isn't a measure of the progress you've made on your mental health or your physical health even. It's literally just a competitive space where they're testing how you do in a certain amount of movements. So try not to be too hard on yourself, be proud of your effort and let's smash these next two workouts together. Thank you for watching guys, I will see you in the next one. Bye!